Good morning, friends. So, welcome to Shetan Pre-Market View. Indian markets continue to touch record highs, uh, with Sensex putting on about 270 points plus gains and Nifty 75 points gain uh, last week after ECB announced its uh, quantitative easing uh, and a very uh, big large bond buying program which exceeded market's expectation. Over the weekend, uh, we had uh, all important news uh, which was uh, important for the global markets. We had elections in Greece, uh, though the outcome uh, wasn't what markets were looking at. And uh, the anti-austerity party, uh, Syriza party, uh, finally won that election. However, there are talks currently in the markets which have uh, given a positive vibe to the market that the European finance minister are working with the current new government in Greece and in case uh, there is no debt cut uh, which is uh, taken in the uh, Eurozone, uh, especially in the Greece, then they, the Greece would continue to remain and be part of the Euro. That's kept uh, the global markets on a buoyant mode. Uh, yesterday night we had Dow which uh, had a flattish kind of a session with uh, Dow Jones uh, going up by about close to 6 points, even S&P was up by about 6 points and Nasdaq putting on a 13 point gain. Currently, if we look at most of the Asian markets, uh, we have mixed views coming in uh, with Japan uh, Nikkei uh, putting on over 1.5% gain in the indices, whereas uh, the Shanghai market uh, remains flat. Uh, back, uh, if you look at the Indian markets, they are indicating a positive opening by 20 points. Uh, Singapore Nifty is indicating an opening towards 8.855 levels, which would be a record high for our markets. Now, uh, if you look at the flows, the uh, flows continues to remain robust. FII is a buyer to the tune of 2,020 crore in the cash market and 1,370 crore in the index future, whereas DIAs were seller to the tune of 1,300 crore. Now, after having a slightly gap of opening, how Nifty would move from here, let's have a view from the derivative desk. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view on derivatives. Uh, after announcement of uh, ACB of aggressive bond buying purchase, we have seen Nifty uh, showing a gap of opening of around 60-70 points and have seen and, and then inched higher and managed to close 0.74% uh, percentage higher at around 8844.40. Now the open interest terms, we have seen a fourth consecutive uh, 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 trading session, we have seen a build up in open interest of around 4 odd percentage, that is for the fourth consecutive trading session, we have seen long positions getting added by the market participants. In yesterday's trade also we have seen uh, 12 lakh shares were added in open interest, uh, however the cost of carry as since we are coming near by the expiry, uh, the Nifty premium have came down from around 18 odd points to 8 odd points and hence the cost of carry uh, uh, decreased from 10.5% to 6.5% uh, while on the put call ratio we have seen a marginal dip of around 1 odd basis point from 1.32 to 1.31 odd levels and simultaneously Indian volatility index soften up uh, after seeing a positive uh, uh, European and Asian markets. Uh, we have seen our markets also going higher in, uh, in Friday's trading session and so did the volatility index uh, cooled off a bit and settled at 17.9 percentage. Now the options activity 9000 has become uh, the highest in terms of open interest for the remaining part of this, uh, this series. That is, it's uh, uh, the open, current open interest in the 9000 strike price around 44 and like shares in it. And we do feel uh, coming nearby uh, the expiry market could try to reach 9000 levels till expiry. Uh, in uh, yesterday's, in Friday's trading session, we have seen a good amount of build up happening in 9100 call option also. That is, around 89 uh, percentage was added in open interest in Friday's trading session. However, in, uh, uh, in uh, put option, we have seen continuous increase and that too aggressive uh, uh, build up in open interest at, at the money strike price. Remember friends, whenever we see a good amount of our aggressive build up in at the money strike price which is a very positive sign as uh, put writers are quite con confident enough uh, to writing the put options of at the money so that the market could rise and put writers could benefit from it. Uh, we have seen 8800 put option which is more or less an at the money strike price has seen a build up around 150 odd percentage. Uh, which is a positive sign. And similarly, 8,700 put option has seen a build up of around uh, 3 odd percentage in uh, uh, Friday's trading session. Uh, there are no securities in bank period for today's trade. On FI terms, the, there have been net buyers uh, from kind of quite a long trading session, that is from around 4 to 5 trading session. Uh, in line with the market, uh, has also seen a, a four consecutive uh, uh, long, uh, long, four consecutive days of long positions getting added. FIs have also seen uh, uh, the long positions build up of FIs have also 
uh, been there for uh, the fourth consecutive day. In Friday's trading session, we have seen there were nine buyers of around 14 odd crores, 1400 odd crores, and open interest was up by around 7 odd percentage. And index options, there were net sellers of 659 crores, and stock futures, there were net sellers of 220 crores, and stock options, there were net sellers of around 110 odd crores. Our uh, five days we have stands at 8750 uh, with a lower range at 8750 and higher range is at around 9000 which is the highest in terms of open interest. As the XFT is trading positive by around 11 or points, uh, we have calculated from the Friday's closing since we were uh, not working yesterday and uh, quoting at double eight double five point five zero. Uh, thank you, that concludes from my side. Friends, let's look at uh, trading ideas for the day. The first one being Wipro. Now, Wipro has backed an uh, important uh, outsourcing contract uh, for infra management services from uh, a lead uh, Irish bank. Uh, this is worth close to $150 million, that is close to 900 crore. Now, this is extremely positive news for Wipro, and one can long Wipro with stop loss of 590p for potential upside of 615 and above that at 622. Also, in a surprise U turn, uh, ONGC has uh, allowed its partner Clean India uh, to retain the prolific uh, Rajasthan oil block beyond the contractual uh, deadline of 2020 and this is without any condition. This is extremely positive news coming in for Clean India and one can long Clean with stop loss of 245 for potential upside of 255. Now moving on to the news section, Reliance Capital has received uh, its shareholder not to sell close to 2.77% stake uh, worth is 371 crore to Japan's uh, financial major, that is uh, Sumitomo uh, Major Trust Bank. Uh, now the deal would make the Japanese uh, bank a strategic partner of Reliance Capital and uh, this would help Reliance Capital collaborate uh, on various businesses including uh, its uh, proposed uh, entry into the banking uh, venture. Also friends, uh, ONGC has uh, uh, is looking to invest close to 22,500 crore in the redevelopment the project to add capacity to 16.7 million tons of oil and 56 billion cubic meter of gas uh, as per the chairman and managing director Mr. Saraf. Also Ashoka Bilcon's uh, project uh, Ashoka Highway uh, which is uh, in Bandara uh, now uh, the company has uh, tied up for refinancing with ICICI Bank to the tune of uh, close to 324 crores. Now the major positives uh, out here is actually that refinancing has been done at 11.5% interest rate which is uh, which will result in saving of close to 1.5% uh, for Ashoka Bilcon's positive news coming from uh, for Ashoka. Also friends, Gayatri project and its JV with uh, Mrs. Uh, RKTCPL backs new contract worth close to 119 crore from Chhattisgarh uh, PWD for rehabilitation and upgradation of the uh, overall uh, Bira Camp Road uh, project. Also as per media reports, uh, the government is likely to uh, announce a divestment in PFC and Dredging Corporation of India. Now the, the divestment of PFC could fetch close to 1800 crore at the current market price uh, so, uh, the, the, this could bring some sort of pressure on PFC uh, as we've seen uh, from the past history. The state-run mining and power generating uh, company that is Nivelli Lignite Corporation has said that it is planning to acquire pl power plants in India and uh, coal blocks outside the country. Now, during the 13 5 year plan, the company intends to add close to 11,200 megawatt of the power capacity uh, and total outlay for these projects could be close to 65,000 crore. Uh, also, SBI uh, is uh, looking to seek shareholders not to raise close to 15,000 crore uh, of money. And uh, news coming in on Red is that uh, US FDA approves Teva's generic version of Nexium. Uh, so, uh, now moving on to the results that are going to be announced today, we have uh, an important day from result point of view. We have Maruti Suzuki, which will announce its numbers, and the expectation here is a pack of close to 865 crore. Idea Cellular, the expected parity 779 crores. Um, Union Bank of India 520 crores. Titan 175 crore. Amar Raja Battery 100 crores. And Karnataka Bank again uh, close to 100 crores. So these are important bills to watch out for. Now moving on to the watch list that we have created for the day. Uh, stocks with positive bias we like VTCL, TBS Motor and Crompton Graves. Whereas stocks which one can short uh, from intraday trading perspective we have Bank of India, CAC and MM Finance. 
also friends a stock uh, which one can look at from long term point of view we like BEL the company reported its number uh, just couple of days back and uh, those were very good set of numbers LNT, uh, Tata Motor DVR, SBI and Ultratech. Uh, friends that's all we have in today's session thank you